Welcome back to another video. Today we're going leaving the next group of yours to the ram. Here's what's coming up today. All the sheep. Oh, Jesus Christ, I miss that, boys. Also, things aren't looking too good for this Texel ram. One of our main rams has Texel trot. Do you enjoy being a sheep farmer? I used to long ago when I was young, but I'm not much good at it now. Nevertheless, we snuggle on. There's a match that this morning. Came out feeding rams, and a big Texel ram did. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why will that sound so sick? So, on to a bit more disappointing news. One of our Texel rams here has Texel trot and you can see his condition has gone away back. And this has started the last few days there now. We thought he'd pneumonia, so we gave him melamice and other stuff there. And I just showed it to the vet and stuff and he said he's nearly certain he has Texel trot. So, it's not looking good. Most, most rams die from Texel trot. We've never experienced before. A lot of people I, I've been talking to have an issue with it. So this ram is probably not going to be bringing it for us this year. Definitely not, because condition has gone way back. So hopefully this will help him, these injections. And we'll probably just have to call him and maybe send him to the factory, because if he's going to be in pain, we want to get, get rid of him straight away. But we'll see how these get on, these injections, obviously, with withdrawal periods and everything. But... Um, so this is the steroid injection, so it's into the muscle. And also, we'll give him Traxin, antibiotic. So we're going to give him 2.5 ml. But I don't know if the, if the speaker is, uh, is picking it up there. Take it off there. You can hear, you can hear the, the breathing is, he, he's in serious, serious difficulty breathing. And obviously in serious pain. And it's, you don't want to see no animal in stress or in, in any pain. So we just have to make a decision. Hopefully these injections will make, make it a bit easier. Make it a bit easier for him. Hopefully these injections will make it a bit easier for him. And doubtful he'll be, once the withdrawal periods are up, probably in these injections, if he's okay, we'll probably have to sell him. And yeah, just have to, we'll just have to see how it goes. But could people, this is also into the muscle, could people there let me know in the comments what has worked for you um, injection wise, what treatment, and what causes Texel trot? Because it's pretty new to me. I've, we've never, we've never came across it before. and. It would just be great to, to start it out. Um, but yeah, so cheers. Also as well, we have another serious issue. We have birds coming into uh, the sheep house and cows now every night and they're just shitting everywhere. Look, you can see the state of the place here and it's all, on all the barriers and everything. And it's becoming a real problem now. Um, I'm not sure how to to go and get on top of it because we never had them until this year and the last few weeks now it's just getting total out of hand. Um, what do people do? Have people experienced this before? And what have you done? Um, obviously we can block up some of the openings here with whatever chicken wire or some windbreakers but any advice in the comments there um, how to stop the birds shitting here? Is there anything we can put up? Any noise or something or anything? help is greatly appreciated because it's becoming a serious problem you can see here it's everywhere and they tend to go away during the day and they're back all up along the steel there at night time and it's just it's just not good because the birds obviously all this they could be spreading disease or anything so I want to get on top of it now especially before springtime comes around when there's sheep inside here with newborn lambs you definitely don't want that We'll go up here now to the mountain to bring in about 500 yards. We'll be letting the ram go out in the next couple of days, so we're going to bring him in today. So yeah, we're going to bring in 500 yards now today. 
we've already 100 yards let go of two rams and we're going to leave these goes now in the next few days but also we have another couple hundred mountain yards after that so we still have a good few yards to, to do Across. and I'm cutting across here now staying kind of blow him so we're gonna to try to push him on over to the far side now so it's not easy gathering I tell you we're missing Sally as well so we have Charlie here now like he said it is raining every day now and we're fairly sick of it as you can see the clouds are down our head they're down top of our head every day now and like there's no enjoyment in it. They're saying the weather's getting better every week and it still ain't getting better. So, it is not easy, I tell you. So I was halfway up the hill there but I had to leave, leave the fatter because I must go down and meet a delivery driver. He can't find the farm. Um, these are just the ones here that are with the ram already. So you can see them around the crystal x lick buckets there. And they're just a hundred of these from my last video but they're getting on fine. So, the rest of the yaws now are above in this hill. Well, there's 500. So what we usually do is we get her to the left, to the left of the hill there first. So you can see all the yaws up there. There's probably 300 maybe there on that side. And we'll be bringing them in through the fields here. And then later on this evening, we'll be doing the right inside the hill, say the darker hill there. There's about 200 there, so. We're going doing 500 of them. Um, so yeah, today you can see better from, from down here. And uh, we'll be flushing them in the grass and then uh, in two weeks time there'll be about 250 to 300 scotch then going to the ram then so we have them here now inside in the fields they're going to be left here now for a few days so flushing here on good grass and we're going to be bringing them in then to sort out the Suffolk any black face yaws will go to a white face ram and any white face yaw will go to a Suffolk ram so that's the way we generally do it I'm absolutely drunk we're bringing in sheep there now just I'm drawn into the skin. Will I, was, I survive? I was sick of it. I am. It's getting tough now. So this is typical now. It happens every year. Most of the rams haven't been lame all year. And of course, when the sheep are in over the fields and they're going out to them tomorrow, there's two or three of them lame already. <coughs> That's just typical. Like. There's a bad start this morning. Eh? Came out feeding rams and a big Texel ram did. Something in his throat, some awful disease. Anyway, he did, stone cold did. So, he texted short a few days ago. He, he started to get it. We gave him antibiotic and, and all that. And he didn't last long. Two days, and he's stone dead here. So he's one of our best Texel rams. So that's another ram down now. So that's why you need to have plenty of rams and backup for stuff like this happening. And with a few lame rams there as well now, but... He's dead now, so we have to take him off to the knackery. He'll go off the wards to Limerick. That's more cost. That'll cost 60 euro now. So that's more expense. Did you ever have to carry dead sheep off before when, you, when they used to die when you were a farm, eh? Uh, in the end of the time, maybe, but not, no. No. They were left there and the... They used to die in the hill and lay them. The fox had eaten them. Uh, the government aren't doing much for things like this, finding dead sheep. 60 euro, the government should subsidise it and make it a bit cheaper anyway. So yeah, it is a good, it is a good bit of money, like, especially around lemming time when you've, you're always dying there and stuff, it don't be long let up. So, it is another expense now. It is hard enough to make money at it. So we need to pull out this ram now and we'll ring the knackery and the ram will be taken away. Rams are dear enough besides they're dying. This ram cost 700 euro two years ago. So, he only did one year. We were hoping to get at least two years out of him. So one year we got out of him, and he's dead. Jeez, he's a fair way. So we just need to pull him out here now. And we need to put him into the trailer in the morning, because the knackery truck will be coming to collect him.
Right, we're going to bring in the rest. Another couple of hundred here now, so we have them all in the fields. So I'll throw up the drone there now. Well, lads, hop. So these, it's time to move these now onto a fresh bit of grass. They're trying to break out of here. That's the second field now they've ate down there in the space of a week. So these are the ones that have, are with the ram already. So we'll have to move, move them on now. So into fresh bit of grass now for these yaws. This will keep them going for another week, hopefully. So delighted now, the field they were in there now. There's still a couple more inside. It's gone absolute shit, so we need to ha keep having fresh grass in front of them now. And it's very hard to have fresh grass in front of them now this time of year because the place is so, so wet and so late on the year. But we can only try our best. Also, as well, moving on, they're Crystal Lake slick buckets. They're absolutely lovely, huh? and they actually need it this time of year now because with all the rain and stuff now, the past few weeks, there's no quality in the grass. There's no good in it. It's just too wet, like so. That's why we have these out, out in front of them. Here we are again at more sheep brought in. I can't do much. I have bad pain in my right shoulder, like a nerve. I hurt it years ago when a cow we were feeding cattle out. A cow shall lash to down me and I had a few more run-ins with it afterward. She's giving trouble now at the moment. How do you mean they shall lash to down you? What happened? I was throwing in a bucket of meal into a truck and I slipped. And Outside she, yeah, or inside? She stood in me and but. It didn't kill me, but it, it must have waked Stood me. down your shoulder? You went the back more, so I think around the back. But that's a good long time ago. But anyway, there's the stiff now and there's fierce pain that I must go for an MRI, you know, during the week, see what's the cause of it. But I can only half do a job. I was trying to say you're finished. I'm not finished yet, but I'm going back slowly. Hi, hop! My lads, come on, Jack, Jesus Christ, come on, come on Chile, hey, hey, go ahead Chile, go ahead Chile, give it a roll, go on, go down, go on Chile, come on, come on Chile, talk, good job, good job Chile. Right, the first thing we're doing to them, we're giving them stock line with copper dose and we'll be dagging them and we'll be dividing them into their groups then, like I said earlier, between Chevitz and Suffolk, black and white pretty much because they'll be getting different rams. So they're only getting the one dose now, which is the stock line with copper. They got a fluke dose a couple of weeks ago, so they say you're not supposed to mix fluke doses with uh, mineral doses, but we do it sometimes like put but today now we're just doing the mineral and we'll probably give a fluke, fluke dose in probably sometime in the November or December. Right, we have the drafting system here again. So we're putting the white, we always separate the chevys, the white face from the black face. So we'll see now how many errors he'll make. Do you reckon he'll make any? I don't know. I don't know, one or two. Right, they have the whites up and the black, so folks are going, whites up, so. Go back. Uh, so, folks, black, leave them in. That's two. Don't mind them. Well there. I'm. If I leave them up, it's with them. Will you just leave them in? Okay. White snow again. White. I change. So, folks. Yeah. Leave the four of them in. One. White. Right. Go back there, but so. Right, put these with the Suffolk's, right. these four. White, are you ready? White. Right. 
All right, change. Change. All right. These chicken deodles the there now, in case they have messed out just in the past or have bad odors, I need to mark anyone to have bad odor. This one? Sit them. She's getting salt now, she's a bad odor. Because last couple of years there, we didn't, we forgot to check out. And when they land in, they might have two lambs and they might have no meat. Right, the next thing we're doing now is, these are all white faced sheep. We're starting the hoggets from the older yaws. The hoggets are going to be getting lean rams or just the easy ramming ram. So they're going in separate rams. So I'll put the older ones up here and the hoggets in there. So I'll, I'll tell you when to change. Right, two, two, two young ones. Right. Two, ho three hoggets. Well, follow this one, look. Three hoggets. Oh, look here. Ah, Jesus Christ. Three hoggets, I told you. Right, then we'll go off. She's a hoggets. All their sheep. Oh, Christ. Jesus Christ, I'm this one. Boys. Right, young sheep again. Young sheep. Two young sheep, I'll catch stretch. Go back, go back, go back, go back, you fucker. Right, all sheep. Right. Right, I changed. Right, younger ones. Right. Lock, lock in there. Right. So, they're all about a year and a half old now. They were born, they were they born? Around March, April last year. April. To the bad day here by Uncle Garvin. We had to come in near the, the range to heat ourselves. It is making desperate shows. It is bad weather for the ram, you reckon? It is bad weather for the ram, is right. He won't be in time to act, no. You're eating ice cream, eh? I'm eating ice cream to, to make things a bit merrier, but nearly finished. Right, so what I'm doing now is I'm picking out two, two, uh, tex, two texel ram. One texel ram for the Suffolk and a texel Beltex cross. So I'm going to catch them there now and we're going to spray them up. So I think the first lad, first lad is this lad. Rams are fairly strong and it's hard to, it's hard to move them places. They're fairly stubborn. Jesus Christ. Right, that's wild. So these are going to the Suffolk Suffolk yours. Will you get out? Jesus Christ, come on. That's wild. Next fella, no, which let us say. Sled here. This is my favourite ram here now. He's the Bill Tex Texel. He's an absolute unit. He's just all muscle. Oh, come on, get out. So what I'm doing now is as well, we always spray our rams right across here. So when, say when we're down here from the farm, looking up the fields, if we're just wondering how the ram are doing, if they're after yours, it's easy, it's easy to spot them. So that's why we don't rattle, we don't rattle uh, these proven rams. The only reason I was rattling the rams last day, they're new rams, but I'm also doing a thing for with five star rams, thing for for the next springtime. But we don't really rattle rams. I I'll rattle one more ram, right? That's the ram that's going with the yaw lambs because whatever's not tipped, we'll be putting them somewhere separate. But um, we don't tend to rattle them. We just what we usually do is we have enough rams, probably one ram to probably even forty yaws, less even. So we, if any ram is not performing. If we've, like I have two rams lame, no, two of my best rams, Texels are lame. So we always have backups. So it's, especially if a ram is firing blanks. So always, always have enough rams and you'll, you'll cover yourself. So we'll, so we'll leave out these rams down to the O's. They're just outside the door. So, right. So they're being introduced to the ladies. These are two good rams now as well. So they're just introducing themselves. This fella here now, the Beltex Texel, he's, a, he's mad for a rod. <laughs> he's trying to jump up on every sheep. He's off again. <laughs> it's a good sign of him, that. So he's a, 
he's a new ram as well we got this year. So we, we look, we're a big fan now of the Beltec Texel. Their lambs are, they finish really well or find big lambs. So these are what our, our hoggets look like this year now. There's a lot of uh, Chevy crosses in there. They all look pretty similar to be honest. There's some Texels in there as well. So the majority of the ones we kept now the last two years have been kind of white faces. Uh, of North County Cheviots. So these will be going to a uh, clean ram. So um, yeah, we used them last year as well and we had no problem with lambing them. So and we had good lambs out of them. So we'll use the same rams now again this year. No, it's a lin ram or clean for the hoggets. This lad's a big lamb now. I got him out of mayo as well. Lakeside, Lynn's and Jeez, Charlie, get out. He went to kill Charlie. Charlie, come in here. Jeez, Charlie got a bad belt there off him. So I'm marking him up there now he's half. Another group started now. Jeez, this is a bad day for leaving out Rams to yours. We're absolutely drowned into the skin. It's been raining like this now the last couple of weeks, so it is what it is now at this stage. Jesus Christ. That's one. Watch him, he's mad. Uh, which is next for I'll go with? Probably try. I'll go with this fella here. <coughs> right, that's two of them. Spray them up now. Look at the rain outside now. Absolutely drowned it. Plow on that. So yeah, so folks are straying the action here again. So they'll be, there's roughly around 100 yards because there's a few more there from earlier. And two rams to 100 yards, maybe 120. And they'll be tag team there now after about a week and a half. We'll put in uh, subs. So we'll put in two different Suffolks again. And we might even give these a rest. So it just depends how they're going. So I'm just driving through the fields there. And you can see here, the quad usually doesn't leave that much signs because it's not that heavy. And it's fairly bad here now, so the place is in some state. So we just need, need it to dry up some bit. Because this is a bit of a disaster now. It's, it's, it's after, there's blue skies there now for the last half an hour, but I suppose piss rain now again I suppose. Ram loaded now. Let's go down now to meet the knackery truck. So the knackery truck is here now and we'll load up the ram here now. That ram is loaded now. It's that day for the ram, so another ram down. Ashley day as well. He tipped no lambs. But well, that's farming, farm life. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why would not send so soon?